Hi all, welcome to another video of Angular PrimeNG tutorial. So in this tutorial, I will explain how we will use PrimeNG checkbox. Now I am on PrimeNG website. You can go to the checkbox section and you will see different options. So in order to use a checkbox using PrimeNG, what you can do is like you can import that particular module and we can use it in the module here. So I have already created one project in that I have only one module that is the app.module.ts in your project if you have a child components and this child component have uh, different modules then which component.html you are going to use that particular checkbox import this particular module like a checkbox module in that module itself okay so it's not in always in app.module.ts if you are using lazy loading or something like that just check whether if you have a different component or different module so that module only you have to import it that is a one point so i am going to import checkbox module in the app.module.ts and you have to make sure if you are using an ng model you have to make sure you are using forms module and it should be imported if you are using a, a template driven forms or something like that there is a template driven forms or reactive forms module there is an another options so that modules needs to be imported so here i am using an ng model that's why i am importing forms module here okay so i am saving it and i'm going to the component.html and what you can do is i have to return a checkbox so i'm just copy paste one checkbox field simply pasting it and we can go through the each field level so first name is first one is name so name is nothing just a variable uh, which will mention uh, what is this checkbox all about so i am just giving terms and terms and conditions okay then what is the value if I click on this checkbox? So I'm just making it as accepted. So this is the value when I click on the checkbox. The ng model is a variable which will store this value in the component.ts file. So here I'm giving is accepted. Is accepted. So you have to declare this variable in the component.ts. So here, sorry, copy, then paste, then I am mentioning the variable like it's a string array actually string array of array i'm saving it okay so when you save it you can see it's simply a checkbox it doesn't have any label for adding label you can give label equal to I have write the acceptance. I have read the terms and conditions. Terms and conditions. Saving it. You can see I can see a checkbox and I have a terms and conditions. This is a label. Then we have to make sure once I click on it. Am I getting the correct value in the is accepted variable? So in order to see that, I am just putting a break here and I am just displaying the variable inside the ng model. I am saving it. refreshing it and if I click on it you can see this variable contains the value whatever I have written here 
it will be stored or it will be stored into the variable accepted okay so actually this is an array as i mentioned here but i will show you the exact structure of that one so here you can see that it has been changed so if i uncheck it it doesn't have any value if i check it i have the value so just assume you don't need a structure like this way so you have to mention it as a checkbox is checked or not like a true or false variable and you also you don't need an array so what you can do is like instead of mentioning the value you can put an option called binary which is in square bracket then you can put as true if you put a binary as true whatever the value in the is accepted variable which will be either true or false that is a boolean value okay so i have to mention here it is not an array it's like a boolean boolean so what is the initial value of is accepted so if i didn't select it the initial value will be false so i am saving it and here also i am saving it now you can see i am showing that value is accepted so initially it will be false when i check it it will be true false true something like that you can see here and also if you want that variable value on on change how you will write on change functionality so you can write on change equal to then you can write the function writing different function name terms and conditions then on change will always accept a parameter event saving it and in the component.ts you can see here like event console.log of event just making it as an any so it is an object actually so by default it is false so on change i will trigger a function so on change i am triggering a function that function is uh, consoling the value so it accept two values it contains the checked which is the value of that variable is accepted of corresponding that checkbox and it contains the original event so this is how we can add on change event and you will get the value inside like this way inside the event also event dot checked it has the value and also is accepted is also getting changed based on the ng model change okay then another option uh, just assume that you need a group of check boxes so what you will do so for that just changing it something like a fruits so you have to given the group name here if you have a multiple check boxes Uh, which coming under one particular group okay so if that is the case for example i can show here so here is a one group okay so in the one group you can see uh, if it is a country you can see different countries inside that the same way um, i am just creating a group of check boxes okay so it's a, like a fruits then i am just putting the label first fruit will be apple i know it is a silly example but let it be apple i'm not making as a binary true instead i am making a value equal to if i select the apple label then 
it should be the value will be apple and the ng model will be selected fruits so this variable contains selected fruits list i'm changing the variable here and i am making it a string array then array and on change show selected fruits saving it here also i am changing it so whatever i have done i have just created one checkbox with the group name as fruits as a label apple then value as the apple and i have a ng model so what it will display in the screen is sorry it is showing is accepted so i have to remove that is accepted then i can make the selected fruits here so it will be one checkbox and there is a another uh, field called apple the same way we'll put some break then i am copy paste this one sorry i'm adding another set of fruits as well so apple then orange then banana orange so the value will be like this banana so it is it should be any value it will it can be 1 2 3 something whatever value uh, you are comfortable you can give it okay so i am uh, giving the ng model also as the same and the on change as the same since it is a group uh, i can show you what what it looks like okay so here i have a three check boxes when i click on the apple that array have the apple value so in the checked on change function you can see the checked then array i will show you one more thing not only the event what will be the value of selected fruits so that will be also an array so when i click on the check box you can see this is the apple value it is showing here and the check box is also the same okay then orange then it will be a comma separated it will be like this way and banana so this is how we will create a group of check boxes with the same group name and the same ng model okay and if you want to disable a particular uh, check box or something like that there is also an option called disable if you want to put a condition you can put the condition else uh, you can simply put uh, you know disable equal to true something like binary equal to true we have put it right so disabled equal to true so it is disabled okay then uh, next condition is in a scenario is like if you want to make some of the check boxes as enabled by default so if that is the case what you can do is here you know right which are the check box value you have to be selected by default those value you have to push to this array so apple orange then save it you have to come here you can see apple is a disabled one but it it is selected orange is the selected so value is by default apple and orange so this is how you can select it so these are the main things but if you are using a form model driven forms right so in that scenario we cannot use a form control name so in the check box alone we should not use that instead we should use a form control then whatever the form group form name we are using then the control then 
your checkbox name or group name you have to given here so this is the only correction we have we cannot use a form controller name but the same purpose is uh, this is a it serves the same purpose so you can use form control and then uh, form group then control dot that particular name of the checkbox that you can give here so and if you want to apply different styles or style classes you can use this one yeah that's all about uh, the checkbox in prime ng